Happy holidays. My name is James Clark. I'm coming to you from the Carolina Crossroads Kitchen. This is where all the magic happens here. Uh, so we're going to do our shot from here inside the kitchen. We've got a very simple recipe today for your holiday receptions that you're having at your house, cocktail parties, friends coming over. This is something that you can do a day ahead of time and it's an interesting uh, little piece to add to your cheese platter or, uh, or, or a little snack or a bite to have when you have friends over for the holidays. So what we're going to be doing is candy bacon. And again, like I said, this is very simple. This is some nice thick slice bacon. You can see how thick the slices are. And this is bacon from Heritage Farms, which is over in Golston, uh, North Carolina. But any bacon will do. I prefer the thick cut. It makes it a little easier um, to do and a little easier to control. First, what we'll do is we'll take some of the brown sugar and you can mix this up a day ahead of time or you can mix a whole bunch of it up to have on hand so that you've already got it and it'll keep for a long time in your pantry. All right, so I just mix a little bit of that in there, brown sugar and white sugar, and I add some black pepper to it as well. And then just simply get your hands in there, get them messy, get some sugar on them, and mix it till it's all mixed together. And all the little lumps of brown sugar are sort of mixed up. And then I take my bacon, I do it one slice at a time, and I just really just kind of coat the bacon really, really well with that sugar. So a lot of it's going to burn off and drip off. So I coat it. And then I transfer it right over here to our silt pad, which I'll get to in just a second and what that is. So I like to do a couple of pieces at a time. And again, you can do this a day ahead of time. Coat them really good. Sandwich them in there. Put them right over here on our silt pad. Now this silt pad is, you can do this on a non-stick cookie sheet as well, or you can do it on a piece of parchment paper also, but this silt pad is, it helps it for non-stick that we use here in the, in the restaurant. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them into an oven that I've already got preheated to 350 degrees. I like to put them in and then I like to check them about every five minutes or so, uh, the bacon, so, and rotate the pan. Sometimes your ovens have hot spots in it, so I keep rotating the pan every time I open the oven uh, until it's done. I just have some that are just now finishing up right here that I've kept rotating. When they're done and they're still a little soft and limp, I kind of put them on a drying rack so that any excess grease or sugar can sort of drip off of them onto the drying rack. And if it doesn't look crispy because it's sort of soft like that, it will crisp up when it gets cooler. Got a little platter here with some crackers and some cheese and a little bit of sliced cured meats. And I take that bacon, usually what I do is maybe cut it in smaller pieces like that put some right here on the plate. Just like this. And that way, when your guests come, they can take a cracker, put a little pimento cheese on there like we did back during tailgate season when football started. And huh, look at that. A little piece of that candy bacon right on top. Huh? A little glass of wine to get the holiday spirit going and you're set to go. Thank you so much. I hope you have a happy holiday season from all of us here at the Carolina Inn and uh, Carolina Crossroads Restaurant. Happy holidays.